Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be Wasted or Worth It Wednesday. And if you didn't already, this is a new mini series or a series, I guess, that I've started on my channel. So pretty much every Wednesday, or at least I will try every Wednesday to review some products and let you know if they are totally worth it or if they are just a complete waste of your money. Last weekend, or last Wednesday I must say, I did a review on the new Wet n Wild contour palette which unfortunately that was a fail. I have yet to find the second color palette. But anyways, if you guys are interested in that video, I will leave it linked down below. So today we will be talking about the brand new LA Girl Matte flat finish pigment lip glosses these are pretty new I think they just released maybe last month or sometime around this month and I picked up six colors and these are the ones that I have and I got six of them because these were the ones that were the most eye-catching to me they have I believe a total of 16 colors if I am correct I will leave the website down below but I actually got mine off of eBay. Now, something that I have learned the hard way from eBay is make sure to do your research when you're buying a product, especially if it's cheaper because it's happened to me where I've gotten a specific product and it was fake, like it wasn't real. And it's just a waste of your money. So the seller where I got mine from, I trust her um, and I've gotten tons of stuff off of her and they're 100% real, they're not knockoffs or anything like that. And I got mine for a little bit cheaper because I got them in a bundle of six. If you guys are interested in getting bundles and paying a little bit cheaper of a price, I will leave her eBay store link down below. So really quickly, um, I just want to go over the product itself and then we can move on to the swatches. I will be doing lip swatches and then I will also be giving you hand swatches just so you can see a little bit of a difference so these lip glosses apply as a lip gloss and then they dry to a complete matte finish I have been loving these kind of lipsticks just because I feel like the longevity of them is so much better than a regular lipstick now like any other lipstick, you always want to make sure to exfoliate your lips before you apply them because these are not forgiving when it comes to having either wrinkly lips or having dry lips because they will cling to every patch. And it's kind of embarrassing because you can totally see it on your lips. I'm not wearing any of these today. This is a different lipstick. Um, but these are good. I mean... They're pretty inexpensive. They're not the best quality out there, but they're definitely something good if that makes sense so let me just tell you the colors that I have this one is a really nice like a nude pink and this is in the color dreamy and this is what it looks like as you can see it is pigmented and it dries pretty quickly so you just apply it on the lips and it maybe takes about a minute or two for it to dry to a complete matte and the second one is more of a like a bright pink but it's on the baby side I suck at explaining things but this one is in the color fantasy and this one is also a really pretty color I don't know how much honestly I'll be wearing this because I feel like it doesn't go well with my skin tone but it's this one right here and as you can see it's a lot brighter than this one now the third one is called obsess and this one is like like a corally reddish color. I was wearing this the other day and I really really like it. It's really pretty. It shows up really red on camera but when you apply it on the lips it looks a little bit more reddish corally. I don't know how to explain it but it's that one right there. So that's um, Obsess. Then the fourth one is more of a mauve color and this one is called Rebel. It's a really, really pretty color as well. I haven't tried this one yet, um, but this one is, like I said, a mauve plum color, which is that one right there. Gorgeous color. I know that these are more for like fall and whatever, but I don't care. You know, if I want to wear a dark vampy lip during the summer, I will wear it. So that's the one uh, right here. And again, that is Rebel. And then the last two, this one, oh, it is so pretty as you can see. It's a really nice 
bright purple i love purple lipsticks i don't know why this one's called stunner and it's definitely a stunner it's a really nice well that's a big swatch it's a really nice bright purple so it's that one right there if you don't like purples don't get this because you won't like it it's a very eye-catching and it's very loud but it's so gorgeous and then the last one is more of a peachy nude. I love this one. I've been wearing this one nonstop. And I believe this one is spelled, or sorry, it's pronounced Fleur, F-L-E-U-R. If I am wrong, feel free to um, make me know that I'm not saying it right. And it's this one right here. That one right there. Sorry, no, my tattoo gets in the way. But it's that one right there, and this one's so pretty. I like to use these two in combination, and it makes a really nice, like, light pink nude color. So those are the hand swatches for these. Now the packaging, the packaging is really cute. It's really sleek. I like that the top is black, and it's just, it's very, it's very classy to me. It's not too overwhelming with... Um, names or pictures or anything like that. It says Matte LA Girl Flat Finish Pigment Gloss. It has a little um, lip on here and then you can see the color. The colors I feel are pretty true to themselves as far as swatching them onto either the back of your hand or your lips. Now these aren't the most long wearing lip stains unfortunately. I have noticed that when I apply them, they probably stay on my lips for a good, I don't know, maybe maybe two hours or so, maybe, maybe even less, maybe an hour and a half to two hours, the maximum. And then I do see that if I am either drinking or eating or anything, I start to get that, <clears throat> excuse me, I start to get that little ring around the mouth, which is totally disgusting I hate that and if I notice it I do like to just take them off completely and reapply them so they're not very long wearing on the lips so if it bugs you the fact that this is not going to stay on your lips for a long time this is probably not the product for you now another thing is that these are not um what do you call them they do stain so if like you're eating something or if you're drinking you can see that transfer of lip of lipstick they're not kiss proof I think that's the word I was going for so yeah these do transfer just a tiny bit not too much but the transfer is there so those are the things um, that I needed to say about this specific product. Now they have tons of colors. Like I said, I think they have a total of 16. I, again, I will leave all their info down below. So they do have a variety of colors and I really actually like them. I like LA Girl products overall. I think they're pretty amazing and the price is pretty good which actually these are five dollars a piece on the LA Girl website I know that ladymoss.com also sells them so it just depends where you want to buy them so I think that is my review for these I totally think that these are worth it again if you're not picky about the longevity of your liquid lipsticks then I think you're going to like these I honestly like them and I cannot wait to pick up the rest of the products or the rest of the colors because they are really pretty so that is everything I really hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned if you want to see lip swatches and let me know what other products you would like for me to review next Wednesday if I don't have anything then I'll have to just keep looking for something I don't know there's always something new so with that said thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i will see you guys in my next video